right, so right here we have a scaleless head. Please don't give me any problems. Let me look like, whoa! Go back Before we start this vlog, remember guys, I am gonna do my first interview, live interview, at Beach Bum Exotics YouTube channel, which I'll put the information in the description down below. Him and my buddy Joel from State 48 Exotics do lives every week and they do interviews every other week. So make sure you guys go check it out. And if you guys wanna have any questions to ask me, today is the day, because I will be answering everyone's questions at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, so make sure you guys go check out Beach Bum Exotics and State 48 Exotics. Remember, link's gonna be in the description down below. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. And oh it's on God. the vlog. What's up, YouTube? We have the AEP family here, and we have some cool things. We have another clutch that just landed, and today we're going to show you guys how we clean our venomous reptiles. King's going to start off with the rattlesnake, and then Ace is going to start off with the beetle lizard, and Nobby and I are going to sit down and eat some sandwiches. What do you guys think? Uh, no, good. I'm gonna take care of all the stuff guys. She's gonna be doing all the filming But right now since I had Tina take out the last clutch and then the kids take out the clutch after that I guess it's big dog's turn. So let's get started with this clutch before we get to the cleaning All right, so right here we have a scaleless head just a normal scaleless head bred to an inchy scaleless head that would be cool to get an inchy scaleless so we're gonna get the egg, the egg box it's the egg box dang man you guys want to see me lay some hands we're gonna get the egg box ready why does it sound egg so box. funny okay egg we're box. going to get the box that we put the eggs on <laughs> <laughs> so, then we're gonna come back and pull this out all right guys so now i'm gonna show you guys how the big dog does it right here as you guys can see we have our egg box ready who i said it right this time dang good so, for you so whoop <laughs> so let me show you guys the proper way not like these noobs do it did you hear that Aubrey snapped her finger at you Aubrey you better check yourself whoa snap careful look at this look at that oh my goodness I have never seen such like such amazing grief. skills ever wow that is legit like craziness. All right, so I'm gonna just put this back for right now, then get a new bin ready for her and give her a nice little wash and go from there. And I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty fast and pretty cool. All right, so Ace, you know what we have to do? Turn off the lights and start candling this bad boys and mark them up. All right, again, so we're gonna look for the embryo, which if you guys could see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's right here, right in the middle right there. So we're gonna put this right there. This one's already on it right there. All right, so I'm gonna just get on a nice little line real quick. And as you guys can see, we have no light diffusers on it. I definitely wanna try this way this time. So let's see how this goes. Keep an eye on them eventually because this is my first time trying it like this. So what we did, instead of putting the, the light diffuser on here, what we did is we put the perlite all the way to like right here about in the middle. I waited until all the water came, I put water until it came up all the way to the top. Then I put some dry perlite on top of this. So. The eggs are still more secure. We don't have to use the golf tees or anything. So I'll definitely let you guys know how this works. I've seen a lot of people do it like this. I saw the homie Jay Brewer do this. So I'm really excited to try this out. I'll keep you guys posted. So Big Doug? Hi. So you can tell everybody how you were mad at dad a little while ago? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why were you mad at me? You threw a shoot right at my face. Did I do it on purpose? Nope. Yes, I did. <laughs> Just play. Just play. Yeah. We're having Tina fill out all the information for the snake, and you know what we do? We put this on here, then we slap it into the incubator. Tina puts all the clutches in the incubator, so, so yeah. Clutch number three. Time to show you guys my gangster technique to take in this guy out right here. The infamous white Esse, and then this little guy right here, the Mexican beaded lizard. They need a complete cage clean, and I'm excited to do it. Are you excited, Turtle? I'm excited to film it. Which reminds me, big shout out to the homies, Harry from Royal Canvas <laughs> Reptile. Did I get Royal yours? Canvas Exotics. Oh, yeah. Harry from Royal Canvas Exotics, Willis at Royal Canadian Reptiles, Chris at, what's Chris again? SFB Exotics, I always forget Chris. The homie that's afraid of anacondas, Matt Byram, Barrows at B Reptiles. Dude, a big shout out to all you guys. You guys know I love you. Um, all right, let's get going. So these are the tools that I use to get these things out. I got my little bucket right here. Dangerous venomous reptiles. 
And I got these bad boys right here. Ooh, man. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, I actually got these things at the first Pomona um, US Arc auction in 2016, I believe. Or was it 17? I think 17. 17. One of those. But yeah, it was my first auction and that, they came in handy before I even got these. I didn't even have these reptiles, but sweet. All right, turtle. Let's do this. Come on, white head. Oh, this is so scary all the time. No, I'm just fine. That's some parts out, you know? Yeah. So again, I just put them in here lightly. I get this lid ready and boom. And I close it all up. Voila. It's not that bad. And now for the fun part. Turtle, could you clean that? No, uh, you <laughs> have to clean it. <laughs> I did the scary part. It's so crazy. Look, these guys don't even really have too much high humidity, but man, their sheds come out so perfect. I would love to time lapse them shedding out. That'd be really, really cool. As you can see, look at this. Boop. Perfect, perfect shed. Look at that. Clean, clean sand. Got some nice fresh water. We got no glass on here yet because we we're cleaning them out. You can still hear this guy going crazy. And for you guys that want to know what kind of sand I use, I use the Zilla Desert Blend. I know a lot of you people are saying, oh my god, he has it on sand. Like you guys do with all people that have bearded dragons or just any other kind of reptiles. I've been using this stuff since he was a little baby. And I've had white SA for over a year and he's had no problems with this. And I know a lot of people that actually have a lot of these rattlesnakes and they use the same, same things. So before you experts start, you know, commenting down there, typing all your crazy words of, oh, it's on desert, this and that, save it, okay? I don't have time for it. I don't really want to hear about it. But yeah, I've been using this stuff forever and it works out great. So now that I have time to put the glass on there and then put them in there. I forgot I had to put a little hide in there. Little guy's always in there. But again, it looks so clean, so cool. So fresh and so clean, clean. Okay, so Turtle, um, are you really gonna take the rattlesnake back and put it in there? Yeah. Are you really? No. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, well, I wouldn't have let her anyways. So again, again guys, I've had this thing for over a year. I've been cleaning this cage at least once a week and so I know a lot of you pros are gonna write down some cool stuff out there saying how I'm doing everything Russ. Yes, yes, I know. I, I mean, he must be doing really bad because he's growing and he's looking good. So let's do this, ready? I'm ready as you are. Cool. Yeah, um, I do this all the time, but I'm telling you right now, dude, these animals are seriously still scary. Like, I, I get very nervous doing this. And uh, go back into your pasta. Back into your pasta. And that's pretty much how it goes every time. Pretty easy peasy. What would you say, Turtle? Um, yeah, it's easy to stand behind here and film. There, <laughs> <laughs> there he is, not happy. All right, so I'm sorry about the noise because he's gonna keep on rattling. He always does this for a good while until he literally calms down. But if you see, I mean, still, he's not too happy. I should just left this little home dirty with full of poop. But now we're gonna do this guy. And Tina and I were just talking about, I think we're gonna upgrade his water dish to one of the bigger ones because he sleeps in this thing most of the time. And now he's getting to a point where he's a little cramped because he like has to turn a little bit, but upgrade time's gonna get a big swim pool right now. All right, Venom, it's your turn. Please don't give me any problems. Make me look like, whoa, snap. <laughs> Make me look like a pro on the vlog, please. Come on, be nice. I don't want to use the tongs on you. You're gonna be good? Can I just use the hook in my hand? All right, I think we could. So now let's do this little grumpy guy's cage. Um, have the bucket here ready. Then about to open it up. All right, let's do this. Oh, stop it. How much did I feed you, man? Okay. Dude, do you not want your, oh, there we go. <laughs> that was pretty funny, huh? 
<laughs> and guys, just so you know, I put him in there lightly, but I have to be careful. I don't want to get bit by him. And I don't like using the tongs on him, because there's sometimes I get close where I'm actually able to pet him without him going too crazy, so... I have to be careful with all you sensitive people out there, especially you grown men lately. I've just been really, really getting your feelings hurt for some reason. All right, now let's clean this bad boy up. All right, and for Venom, what we're gonna use is none other than this perfect, amazing bedding. Rep the chip, and we have a turtle over there cleaning up the glass. Now they're gonna get hooked up right now. I love doing this stuff, especially it gets my adrenaline going too. All right guys, and here is Venom's new little pool right here. Tina called it a uh, dough boy. And guys, it's not dark over here, it's just if I open up the blinds, bam, it gets really ugly. So yeah, so we're going to put him in here real quick and then go from there, guys. And you guys can still hear why Essay is just, he's not stopping, man. But it's time to get Venom in there. So I'm going to put Venom in a little different right now. I feel bad seeing this little guy stress out, but... Hey, little dude. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Right. And all I'm gonna do is just grab him right here and just make sure he's away from falling three stories. Right. There you go, it's your brand new home. And look at that new dough boy. I know, lucky. Yeah, that boy's gonna be working it. Just in time for summer. <laughs> Come on, Venna, check out your new dough boy. Jesus, white essay, shut your mouth. Well, shut your tail. Come on, mom and daddy, build that up for you. Ooh, get it, boy, get it. He is so cool. I can't wait till Junior gets big enough to put him in there with him. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. You know, we appreciate all of the support. And until next time, deuce. Peace? No, you have to say deuces. Oh, deuce. Deuce. <laughs> Do you remember the movie that they used to say Hoover Deuce? No. Bobby Johnson? No. Comment down below if you guys know what movie I'm talking about. Bye.